What's going on guys? It's Crazy Clips here and in this video I'd like to talk about my thoughts on Vanguard Zombies. I'm not really too happy with it, okay? Um, I myself am someone who started playing COD Zombies uh, in BO3. I played World at War, BO1, BO2 Zombies, um, IW Zombies. Cold War. I really enjoyed the machine. I feel like it was very innovative compared to BO3 and BO4 and its predecessors. But even going into D machine, I felt like there were a couple problems that held the map back, and um, I feel like carry it over into the entire Cold War life cycle and also into Vanguard. So the one problem I have with BO4, Vanguard, and uh, Cold War zombies was. Um, points per kill instead of um, the typical uh, getting uh, 10 points per shot. What that did is if you're, let's say a new player, right? And you don't have high perk tiers and you don't have the wonder weapon or any power weapon, it essentially makes um, any of the guns you get from the mystery box useless. And the fact that Pack-A-Punch is so expensive and the zombies get so much health on the higher rounds basically um, turns Cold War Zombies into Dark Souls. Now, it wasn't really a big issue on D-Machine because I felt like you were well-equipped, but my God, if you, if you wanted to play Forsaken without the Wonder Weapon, good luck, because it's literally death, okay? You're, you're not going to survive. You're going to get stonewalled, and um, it's literally over for you. So I felt like... Cold War would be miles better, like re really, really be a good game if they took out points per kill and just made it uh, points per shot, because that would, you know, add a lot of play styles, which I think Cold War does very well with the rarity system and all that. I don't really have issues with the rarity system. I think, you know, the perk system is very cool, like, you know, adds another level of progression that you know, I've been waiting to have since BO3 because BO3 had no um, progression with the perks. They did have good perks, but they didn't have any progression. Um, now to Vanguard. So what what is wrong with Vanguard? Um, the problems I have with Vanguard is the first map is literally just Outbreak, but smaller basically taking all the nice aspects of Outbreak and stripping it away. In my eyes, Vanguard seems like a pretty rushed game. They're, it, it just seems pretty lazily put together if I'm being, being frank with you. First off, there's no Wonder Weapon on the map, which we've had at least a ray gun since World of War days, since Nocturne Totem. No pack a pun. I mean, no, there is pack a -Pun. No Wonder Weapon and no Pack-A-Punch camos. Can you believe that there's no Pack-A-Punch camos? Like, that, that surprised the crap out of me. And when, you, and when you shoot at the zombies and if you don't have your texture set to low for like the muzzle flash, you literally can't see anything. So I feel like this is need to tone it down for the zombies mode. For multiplayer, I know they want to go for realism and anything, but like for the... For the, um, for the average player, people don't want realistic muzzle flash when they're shooting at zombies. At least give us muzzle flash if we, like, let's say, have dragon's breath rounds or something like that. That actually, you know, gives an incentive to have the muzzle flash for, like, let's say, extra damage. But it's literally just there to be a nuisance and, uh, quite frankly, just there to be annoying. Uh, one other thing is if you look at certain sections of this launch map It's literally just sections from multiplayer like I understand in world at war It was a brand new mode, right? And it was something we never saw before and they didn't really have the assets to To you know make completely new maps because it was a mode that they didn't think would be you know successful, right? They just did it as like a one-off thing, but then it turned into something you know, that's part of every trademark Treyarch game. But this this game literally has no excuse to just copy paste stuff from multiplayer into zombies. It it further reinforces my case that this 
this mode was pretty lazily put together. Like, I know they said they're going to add all of this stuff, you know, four or five months from now. But I feel like most people, you know, they'd wait, you know, one and a half months for a fully fleshed out game than, you know, whatever Vanguard is at launch. Like, Call of Duty needs to step away from releasing yearly if if they want to keep the players like keep players like me happy and i feel like just players in general want to get into zombies happy now as to the welcome changes i feel like you know having perks have a tier system instead of uh instead of grinding it out like in cold war is kind of mixed I kind of like that sense of progression in Cold War, but I can understand from a new player's standpoint that being able to buy the tiers outright, you know, is good. Um, one thing I will say is the first map has no Easter egg as of now. I know they said they were going to add it in, but as of making this video, there's no Easter egg. Um, and something interesting is, you know, they put Pack-a-Punch guns in the box. I know they've done that since Cold War, but they've changed around the rarity system a bit, and I feel like it's, like, a bit better now. It's kind of, you know, uh, it is what it is. Um, so, you know, I think Cold War was a step in the right direction, right? I feel like the first map, D-Machine, was, like, is probably one of the, like, be better or like best maps that uh call of duty has made and i feel like it's just hampered by some of the aspects of cold war's engine that i just don't like like uh points per kill because it essentially just eliminates uh the use of like you know point makers you know like the tommy gun the vmp all those point maker guns and then uh you just you just use crutch weapons to get to the high rounds and then eventually it becomes difficult and you don't want to play it. So I've, those are my thoughts on Vanguard and Cold War. Um, if you, I didn't make this to, you know, hate on people that like Vanguard or Cold War. If you do, I applaud you for really liking this mode because I feel like, you know, it's just, for me, it's, it's not it. It's not hitting. And, um, you know, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Funny together. Okay. Um. Second one is um, two double arrows. Okay. I'll, I'll just preemptively put those in. Yeah, so the two double arrows where they have the little bump sticking out.